Hi guys. Cheers. Hello, how are you doing? My name is Ingborg. This channel's name is Stitch So Far and I talk about cross stitch. I think it has been three weeks since my last update and my shirt keeps dropping. Um, so I'm here to catch you up on what I've been working on. Uh, I'm doing well. Uh, for those of you who were worried about my knee, uh, thank you. Um, everything's fine. I went to see a physical therapist and they basically said, not sure why, what happened exactly, but you over stressed your knee. So give it a break, do less walking, more cycling <laughs> and try and strengthen the muscles. So I have had some exercises like standing on one leg like a flamingo and that's I've been doing that and everything's fine. So yay. Um, so uh, I have been stitching. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a weird order I think because I sort of grabbed everything in the last minute. It's currently Sunday evening. I just had my dinner and I thought I might as well try and, and uh, film before the end of the weekend is gone because next weekend I probably won't be able to film either. So lighting might be weird. I might be weird, but just deal with it. Uh, so uh, last time we spoke, I was working a bit on the um, uh, Chatelaine piece. Filling in a lot of the yellow on the building, or I just down Lotus Pond is what I'm working on. If you're new to my channel, then um, well, I always have all the details of my projects, what I'm stitching on, what I'm using in the description box thingy. So last time I showed you, uh, I was about here, I think, and I said I wanted to try and get to the close to the, um, the water's edge here. I'm not quite there, but I did get uh, quite a lot done and I'm really pleased with the results. It's not looking like a yellow boob anymore. Well, it is a bit, but <laughs> a lot less. I basically did everything except the back stitching and um, beading for this section. I think this is the page break as well, so I think that's why I thought it would be a natural uh, break point to stop and pick something else up. But yeah, really happy with this. Love how it's looking. It's looking more and more like a real building. And yeah. Um, yeah, first panel done. There's, I think there's three strips. The next one's going to be very, yeah, the next two are going to be very busy. Well, because this, the surface that is stitched is a lot bigger, but at least I will have new colors to work with, so that will make me happy. But yeah, I love this Chatelaine. Uh, then I think I picked up this piece. Uh, I was watching Calico. Stitches, Christine, I think, is your name, I think, I hope that's right. Um, and she suggested for the start of July to do, uh, yeah, no, for, not for the start of July. For the last week or two, not sure. Anyway, <laughs> somewhere in the summer, start of summer, that was it. So the last week of July, uh, June, to do a uh, flamingo cell. Um, which I participated in because I had got this from market this year. Uh, hands on design, you had me at Flamingo and I just love it. And I happily stitched along and finished the stitching part. I'm not, I've not yet fully finished it. I did do some alterations. I used all the gold for or suggested uh, floss colors, but I left out the um, alphabet here. And uh, here I replace the alphabet with just a big letter F that's on here. I just put it in here. That's all the changes that I made for the rest. It's exactly like charted as charted. So, um, I 
think I stitched this on a 36 count. Uh, this was just a little piece that I found in my sash. So I'm not totally sure on what the fabric is, but oh well. This is what it looks like and it's showing up really nicely uh, uh, accurate uh, to color. And as you can see, I just picked some of the pieces for the smaller fobs. I hope I have left enough margin there. We'll see. But yeah, I'm going to turn this into a pillow and attach the uh, ornaments or the fobs to it because I found a good quilting fabric that I'm going to use for the for the backing. This is Till the Lazy Days Josephine Teal and the colors are perfect for it. And then I have in my stash some threads that um, Diana at It Is Christmas sent to me uh, with among others this ribbon like a gauze ribbon and this ribbon and I think I can use these really well along with this fabric to make some finishing on this project. So that will be perfect, I think. Um, yeah. And then I picked up my ink circles. Yeah, I think so. Not sure. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Turkish Delight. I started this. I'm not sure. Oh, for my birthday. Uh, and I had planned to stitch it all in this beautiful electrifying, which never shows right on screen. Because it's showing blue with dark blue, but it's actually very close to... Uh, turquoise like a, more like a petrol blue so yeah anyway I was going to do the whole thing in this and I was working on it and I thought well I think I need something else to break it up because this has variegation but not uh, a very strong variegation I would say so I went stash diving and I found in my stash this, which is Gloriana uh, Midnight, which I don't know, I think I had it, oh yeah, I had it in my stash because my LNS had had a sale of Gloriana's and this is one of the ones I need for one of my Chatelaine patterns. And I have several blues that I tried out, but I like this one best because it has a bit of a sea green and navy color and that and really combines very nicely with this turquoise petrol uh, uh, thread words um, so um, that's what I'm using and I'm at least I'm gonna use it in the center a bit I'm gonna show you in a bit uh, well. So uh, I've been working on these corners and I have start, meant to start with the central motif. I think I'm going to do that completely in the darker thread or maybe partly. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to play with it a bit to see. Um, um, here's where I'm at. So as you can see, hopefully... This is all in the turquoise thread, which does show a bit of variegation, as you can tell. But this central bit, those lines are all in the darker Gloriana thread. And I think it will work very well. I'm going to and try and add some stitches in the future and see if I'm going to go completely dark or mix it up. But yeah. And then when I picked this color and started stitching with it, I realized that actually I am copying... Uh, Mika, Darling Bluebell, because she has used uh, chosen the exact same uh, thread combination for, I think it's for another ink circles or castle walls, I think. So yeah, happy coincidence, I guess. Thank you for 
uh, allowing me to channel you, Mieke. <laughs> yep. And because I need this thread for my Chatelaine and because I needed to get some other things, I uh, actually uh, ordered some extra Florianas just to be sure that I have enough, but I definitely have enough. I think so yeah I'm really happy with how that's turning out um, then Diana uh, has announced that she has a sale uh, starting 1st of July I think it's gonna last the whole month I'm not sure that I will participate the whole month, but I did uh, join for the kickoff and uh, been working on, on rele relevant pieces. Oh, I left the piece somewhere, so I can only show you <laughs> which pattern I worked on. Um, thread, uh, drawn thread, Christmas baskets. I picked this one. If you go to my Instagram, you can see my progress on this piece. I, I don't have a piece with me currently. Um, basically, I used what I had in my stash and that matched pretty well the called for threads that I have. And I replaced one of the yellows for a different MPI, I think. But yeah. That was a lot of fun. That took me about a few days to stitch. It's just one of those squares. I'm going to do them all, but as much as I enjoyed it, I'm not really a Christmas in July stitcher, <laughs> nor a winter. And, and when I was stitching it, we actually had a heat wave. So it was, I think it was 38 degrees outside Celsius, which is yeah, way too hot for the Netherlands. But yeah. The, then I'm definitely not in the mood for Christmas. So when I finished that, I switched to a different project um, that is more fitting to the current uh, season, but still works for the cell. If you want to join the cell, go check out Diana. Uh, I will link her channel below and the uh, hashtag for the cell is Kissmas in July cell. I will flash it somewhere here. And the other sal, the calico one, the flamingo one, is uh, another flocking sal, I think. Also, we'll put it somewhere for you to check out. Um, uh, so, uh, I picked up a Mirabilia's Garden Party, which I have uh, renamed the Bee Sisters. Um, and I am using this as a, a project for the Christmas in July cell because it's the Bee Sisters and they're having a party and they are very known in the floss tube world for a stitchy Christmas so I'm sure they will have no problem in a Christmas garden party. So that's my story for uh, adding it, using this for the cell. Uh, last time you saw it, I have had started working on the skin and I finished with this arm. And this round I have worked on filling in her bust. This, what, what's still left open, should be beading for a necklace. That's going to be a head someday as well, but uh, there's another arm coming out here. Uh, if you can tell over here. Uh, which I started on as well. So, because if I want to work here, I probably have to scroll the frame uh, the project up a bit so I am decided to finish the arm and I might start working on this arm but yeah anyway I got a lot of progress in I think I'm stitching the skin over one and I'm using the 10 stitch technique so I use two threads and in a 10 stitch only one uh, uh, leg of a cross is stitched and I did do a video about the difference between uh, 10 stitch and a regular half cross stitch. Uh, I think you can find it if you look through my floss tube videos. If you can't, let me know. But yeah. So on the back, it looks like this. So yeah, pretty decent. Um, I'm happy with how fast it's going and I'm, I'm finding it pretty easy to follow the pattern 
because you have to remind yourself that um, each symbol on the chart, if you're stitching over one, you have to do two stitches for it next to each other. Or well, actually four if it's a full uh, cross. So that's something that I, uh, I need to keep in mind, but for now it's going pretty well. And I'm enjoying it. Um, I think for the start of next week I might have to find another uh, project because all the over one stitching is not very relaxing during the work week. <laughs> so I will have to find something that will fit the, the cell. I'm sure I can come up with the story. But yeah. And then as I mentioned I did uh, do some purchases. And I, oh, okay, that didn't work. I purchased, uh, there was a sale going on in one of the European shops, so I did purchase some patterns. And let's see, I'll show you some that you may not have seen a lot of. I got two uh, Plum Street samplers, Blue Skin. And sample house four, I think. Yeah, four. Really like those two. Uh, I got another. I got a, my no, not my first prayer schooler, but I got one of the prayer schoolers that was on my wish list. It was so cheap, I just couldn't resist. And it's the cardstock one. So yeah, decent quality. Uh, I think they're very cute for Easter basket stitching uh, this one uh, has been on my list forever and this one yeah love that i am actually not sure if i would stitch the whole thing but uh, since market i have had the notion of looking at samplers like this and seeing that there are bands that you could take out and stitch like a, an elongated cushion so I might do that for this but I just wanted to have it in my stash and it was a good price and I finally got this one HL's Moth which is also a cell that Diana is doing I'm not sure if I will start it though but yeah uh, I, when I was looking through the threads that Diana gave me I found this one as well, which is a uh, Victorian Motto sampler shop in ice blue. I think it might be nice to use that for the moth. What do you guys think? Yeah, I love this one. I'm very tempted to try the over one, but not sure if my eyes could take it. <laughs> anyway. Um, that's all I can think of that I had to share. I hope uh, you're all doing well. I've been watching some of the StitchCon recaps, uh, which is fun. Thank you all for doing that. Uh, it sounds like everybody had a great time. Uh, it sounds like it didn't feel as massive as S400 stitches sounds. So that's a bonus, I think. Um, yeah, mm, plans for the next week are to find something to stitch on. <laughs> next week I have to be in Amsterdam uh, for uh, one of my projects, one of my uh, future projects, hopefully. And I plan the morning meeting and I might take the rest of the day to go and visit one of the, one of the museums. Depending on how I'm feeling and what the stress level is, etc. <laughs> But yeah, I'm doing well. Uh, it's slowly coming to the real summer holiday, so uh, work is winding down a bit, but I have enough to keep me busy during the summer, but not crazy busy, so that's fine. And I think that's it. So I'm going to say goodbye. I uh, didn't think of a fact. Um, still have to do some research for my uh, stitch with me controversial topics 
which will be coming somewhere in the summer, I think, sometime in the summer. Uh, so I'm going to say uh, thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you are doing well. Um, there's been a lot going on in the community and I'm thinking of you. Um, so for now, see you in a week or three, probably. And I hope you are stitching and having fun with it. Bye guys.